part, we often look at the machinery here at the event and all the automation around it. Sometimes we don't talk about the actual Seco tools that people can see as well. What's the new innovations here? What have we got? This is the new Performax, uh, the new insert drill from Seco Tools. It just launched. Okay, so what's, what's different with this to, to its predecessor? It's, uh, we have taken a good drill, the old Performax drill, and we have looked into all small features and make everything slightly better. So for example, what you really easily can see is the new uh, look at, on, the, on the flutes. You can see this... Uh, it's like a waveform there, yeah? Yes, uh, we call it a wave pattern. And that, that helps uh, to evacuate all the swarf, all the ships. Right, okay. Is that the main thing that's different? Is that the main change or is there anything else? There is a lot of uh, changes. I would say it's 10, 15 different changes on, on the drill. Okay, give us, give us some of the other ones, maybe the highlights. Uh, one, one more thing that we have done, we have a small laser some area here where we do some laser hardening and that gives us a much longer tool life on the drill body. Interesting, okay, is that the first time you've done that? It's actually, yeah, it's uh, the first time we do it on, on, uh, that, technique. on that type. Okay, anything else? One or, one or two more? One or two more changes? Yeah, we have, um, for example, we have a relief release here just to avoid um, ships uh, destroying the drill body. You have like a land margin here, and then you have a relief. So uh, if some swarf coming over, it just goes around and appear in the second float. And that also gives us a much longer tool life. Okay, let, let's look at this then practically as an engineer. Let's say I've got my, my billet of steel in, in, my, in my vice. What differences am I gonna notice by using this U-drill as opposed to its predecessor? Yeah. Uh, one good thing is that you will, of course, have a longer tool life. Another one is that you will probably use uh, higher cutting data. And because we have changed uh, the way we produce it, so everything is better tolerance. So that gives us a better hole tolerance on, on the part itself. Okay, so tolerance of, of the finished part, also less power being used on the machine to produce the same result, which is good for the machine. Yeah. But if you wanted to crank up the feed rate, you could as well. Yes, correct.